Hi everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to your Health Matter channel. In our today's video, we are going to learn about diabetes and eyes. What your vision is trying to tell you, can diabetes affect your eyes? Yes, you should plan to make regular eye doctor visits when you have diabetes. In fact, diabetes is the primary cause of blindness in adults aged 20 to 74. High blood sugar can lead to problems like blurry vision, cataracts, glaucoma, and retinopathy. Diabetes is a serious disease that can affect many aspects of the body, the heart and kidneys, blood circulation, and even the eyes. In fact, diabetic eye disease increased in prevalence by 89% between 2000 and 2010 and this is leading cause of blindness among American adults. Despite this, vision care is often overlooked by people with diabetes as they work to manage the many other health problems the disease can cause. And according to a survey by the American Optometric Association, 55% of people are unaware that diabetic eye disease often has no visual sign or symptoms. Additionally, 44% of Americans don't know that a person with diabetes should have a comprehensive eye exam once a year, including a retina dilated eye exam. Yet, these exams are the only way to diagnose serious eye disease associated with diabetes at its early stage. Diabetic eye disease refers to the group of eye condition that can result from diabetes. This includes number 1, diabetic retinopathy. The retina is a group of cells on the back of your eye that take in light. They turn it into images that the optic nerve sends to your brain. Damage to small vessels in your retina causes diabetic retinopathy. It is related to high blood sugar levels. If you don't find and treat it early, you could go blind. The longer you have diabetes, the more likely you are to get it. If you keep your blood sugar under control, you lower your chances. Regular eye exams are critical for early detection and treatment of this progressive eye disease that often begin without warning. The longer a person has diabetes, the higher the risk for eye disease. Number 2. Glaucoma One form of glaucoma, neovascular glaucoma, is caused by diabetes. High sugar levels can damage the retina's blood vessels and result in the creation of abnormal new ones. When new blood vessels grow on the eye's iris or the colored part of the eye, it can cause an increase in eye pressure and glaucoma. Number 3. Cataracts Cataracts can form earlier and progress faster in people with diabetes due to the increase of sugar in the blood, and this creates a cloudy buildup in the eye's lens resulting in a cataract. So guys, if you want to keep your vision sharp, you want to take great care of your health so you can avoid problems related to diabetes. And you have to use these tips to take charge of your disease and protect your eyes. This includes number one, eat for wellness. Go for fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein. If that's a big change for you, you can get ideas and encouragements from a nutritionist. You can also ask your doctor's advice about when you should eat and how much is okay if you take insulin. Number two, if you smoke, you have to quit. Lighting up causes problems with your blood vessels, which make you more likely to end up with eye troubles. It is not easy to kick the habit, so don't hesitate to ask your doctors for help or go to a support group or quit smoking program. Number 3. Move more. Exercise can have a big influence on blood sugar. If you use insulin or medication to lower your blood sugar, ask your doctor when you should check your levels before and during your workouts. 
and also ask what type of workout you should do. Number four, keep your blood sugar under control. If you do that, you can slow any damage to the tiny blood vessels in your eyes. Several times a year, you should have an A1C blood test. It shows your blood sugar levels over the past two to three months. Your results should be around 7% or less. Number five, keep high blood pressure in check. It can lead to eye disease too. If you have high blood pressure and diabetes, you need to be more careful about your health. Ask your doctor to check your blood pressure at every visit. For most people with diabetes, it should be less than 130 over 80. And that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you like our video today. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more diabetes videos. While most medications can keep the symptoms of diabetes at bay, they don't actually treat the root cause of the problem. So, before you resign yourself to being hooked on medication for life, you got to see this now. Once you understand it, you can beat it. Click the link below description to find out how. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye and I hope to see you on my next video.